We're gonna need that. Uh, gun. We're gonna need that. Oh fuck, I didn't want to grab that stupid kid. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and uh, we're back with another game of 60 seconds. Uh, so here we go, I'll catch you guys in a second. Alright, here we go. Uh, bug spray, fire axe is what they recommend. There is some stuff over here, there's a gun here. Shit, I didn't really get a chance to look. Okay, get the radio, get the first aid. Uh jump it. Oh, fucking hell. I don't think it was worth it. I need at least one adult. We're we're forsaking the kids this time, it's just gonna be me and the waifu. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, I'm not gonna make it! Fuck! Alright, so I didn't quite make it. I didn't make it to the bomb shelter, so... Game over. <laughs> Hang on, we'll, we'll go ahead and restart. Alright, here we go. Oh shit! I started on the other side of the house. I didn't mean to. Boy Scout manual. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need that. Uh, gun. We're gonna need that. Oh fuck, I didn't want to grab that stupid kid. <gasps> Come on, throw him in there. Come on, get the goddamn thing. Uh Shit, I didn't have anything, enough room for anything else. Here we go. All right, here we go. Day one. Uh, we're not doing too good. We got three bottles of water, four cans of food. We're missing a person, but this time we got a gun uh, and some ammo and a med kit, which is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, almost all of us got down here. Our shelves are full of cans. Uh, barely enough water for everybody with the ration. It really strict. And uh, okay, so you guys have already read most of this, so we can go ahead and move on. Uh, there's only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know? Mm-hmm. Not just for kids. <sighs> Fuck, man, that's intense. All right. Uh, we decided to act out scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for a moment. For some reason, every time we picked a new scene, it ended up being one from Humphrey Bogart film. Uh, despite dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Uh, today has been fine for Dolores. No problems or troubling Ted. Okay. We're not going to have to do anything. Uh, the area is still really irradiated, so we're going to leave it alone. Uh, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Okay, so if we use the spray, it'll kill them, but the spray will be gone. So we're going to use the Boy Scout manual because that's something you can use over and over again. So we're going to use it to squish the giant green cockroaches. Alright, that was close. The nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches? Yikes. Uh, so everybody wants water, water, water. Our neighborhood is still radioactive, so we're not going to do anything. Uh, this is terrible. We can't sleep. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so our med kit is now gone. But it's better than everybody having insomnia, because when you have insomnia, I think you can get really sick. Okay. 
Our first aid kit was uh, well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought that we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested now and can enjoy our time in the shelter, or can we? Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Okay. So, yep, we're doing pretty good. No, no, no. No need for anything. Uh, the area is still irradiated. Fuck. We need medical supplies. And what we have is a bad joke. I thought there was somebody like jumping upstairs and that's actually thunder. Uh, we need medical supplies and what we have is a bad joke. Uh, time to do something about it. Well, uh, that bug spray is just staring at it. Why don't we use it to make drugs? This is an amazing idea. Okay, so we're going to try to use our bug spray to make drugs. Worst case scenario is we don't have drugs and we don't have bug spray. Yes, it worked. We have a fucking medikit now. Uh, what do you know? Combining American innovation and deadly bug spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. We'll worry about the side effects later. Timmy seems okay. Everything seems okay with Dolores, and there's nothing going on with Ted. Great. Five days, and we're doing actually fairly okay. The area still looks irradiated. Alright. So we don't want to do that. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you. Damn you all to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those are good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. Hmm. Day eight. Oh, fuck. The gun's messed up. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. I guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. Timmy is on his best behavior. Dolores is fine. Ted's not complaining, at least not very much. Okay. So we're still good on stuff. Looks like the area is still irradiated. Fuck. Alright. Uh... We're still okay. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Walk to the surface like we used to. Smell the fumes and pollution. Ah, uh, that's the scent of freedom we miss. Fuck, I can't believe our gun blew up. Day 18. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Uh, we could hear nothing but annoying static. Better like next time. To me, it's good. Dolores hasn't eaten for a while, and no new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Okay, so. Dolores. Oh shit. No, 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 bitch. You ain't getting nothing. Uh, it's a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We can show you some extra supplies if that's what we want to survive. Alright, send her. Go, Dolores. I should send the boy, but we're going to send Dolores. She's got bigger arms. Could carry more things. Oh, good. She's back. Oh, my God. She looks like shit. A good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can while hunting those pesky spiders. That was one bountiful hunt. Great. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wastelands. When our expedition noted planes in the sky, we were afraid more bombs would fall. Instead, supply crates began to rain down. We made sure to get some off the drops before the other survivors can loot it. A food drop. That's what we needed. What they did drop this time. Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate, no. Tomato soup cans. Hooray. Uh, no news is good news. Dolores would really like to eat something. And Dolores came down with sickness. Dolores is really tired. Ted is hungry. And Ted is pretty fatigued. Okay, so Ted is... Uh, yeah, you need healing. Ted is hungry. Uh, what else was there? Who, who? Okay, so Timmy's fine. Dolores eating. And Ted eating. Okay, there we go. Uh, it seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's, uh, it's not. We don't know until we go out. Okay, we're going to go out and I'm going to take uh, Ted. Or we'll send Timmy out there. Hear that? No, because no one's talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Yeah, that's right. Listen to the radio. Day 26. Uh, you look a little better, I guess. Ah, uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to music. Uh, Timmy's on his best behavior. Dolores did not last long without water. Dolores was cured of her illness. This morning has been calm for Ted. Okay, so Dolores needs water. And then we are going to send a little asshole out there. Go on, boy. Earn your weight. Good thing we don't have a fucking map. Did you really just come home empty-handed? The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage is done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days, and that's what... And, and what's that smell? 
We're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wastelands and is safe, and safe with us. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet it was more lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't, be ha it couldn't open it itself, but it was happy to share it with us. At one point during the expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us. Great. Uh, and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze laying next to them. The monkey took us just outside of town in what seemed to be a hidden bunker. It contained some medical supplies. Timmy should eat something. Uh, Dolores has to drink sometimes. Ted's stomach is rumbling. I'll tell for a few drops of water. D fuck yeah. Okay, so everybody gets water except for you. You don't get water. You get soup. Everybody gets soup. In fact, everybody gets soup. Yeah. Oh god. There. Uh, Timmy just wanted to eat something. Dolores just wanted to drink something. Okay, so you don't have to eat. And then you eat. Okay, so there we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pack for another expedition. Uh, being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is pretty much more peaceful since the bombings. We need another gun really bad. But that's good. We got a first aid kit. That's fucking fantastic. We have extra bullets to trade. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores is fine. And Ted is fine. Okay, so Timmy needs some water. Uh, in fact, we're not going to give him any. By the time we choose somebody to salvage what remains of our town and search the supplies, who would it be in the wastelands? T send him. You had a good time last time. Why don't you go up there, kiddo? You found a monkey to play with and everything. Get out of here. Day 32. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Doris, Dolores, she wants something to eat. Uh, and Ted is fine. So Dolores, you guys, some food there. Uh, we had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it and soon. Fuck, we don't have a goddamn flashlight. We don't have our fucking ammo. Thank gods, kid. He came back with one bottle of water. Are you fucking serious? And some bullets. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first 30 minutes after the airbag got bored with the letter W. Um, we believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Exploring the wasteland should begin in our own backyard. <sighs> our street was a good choice. Plenty of well stocked houses, a lot of neighbors we didn't like that could be robbed without hesitation. We decided to give it a shot. It appears that Mr. Jenkins from down the road was brewing his own moonshine. We discovered a few bottles with labels that suggest a high percentage of alcohol. But the stuff tastes like water, so we assumed he failed. Or did he? We got one bottle of water. The bandit kids were playing war in nearby ruins. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. Very encouraging to see that kids are making the very best of this terrible, terrible situation. They even shared some ammunition with us. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's really tired. Everything seems okay with the doors. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Okay, so Timmy needs to eat, right? Okay, so Timmy will eat and we'll set up another expedition. Okay, Dolores might be fit. Ted is happy to risk his life. Okay, so we're, we're going to send Ted out next time. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. Uh, we're hopeful this blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be. Or else. Dude, we're doing really good. We're doing really good. 39. I think the longest I survived was like 46, I think. Or else we might end up in a place much worse. Tim prefers apple juice. Uh, he needs some water. Dolores, uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, we don't have to worry about Ted. Uh, you can go ahead and take some water, little guy. Uh, we're feeling pretty optimistic. Uh, we're sending me. I'm going, because I have puke in my beard, apparently. Fucking water. Oh, good, I'm back. I look like shit. But I got water, and it looks like food. Oh my god, look at all this water. And a flashlight, and a gun, and some fucking spray. Dude, I'm the goddamn man. Enough arguing, there's more important things to worry about. Uh, Ted has safely returned from his voice to the surface. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland may have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. A local supermarket might have seemed like a great place for a safe haven, but unfortunately, a bandit group had the same idea and turned it into their new home instead. These thugs are heavily armed and able to terrorize the entire area. Maybe stealing from them would be an ideal payback? Sneaking through the store shelves provided us a few cans of soup for. Uh, the way was clear to the staff room. Inside, we found nothing but water cooler, free water for employees. Wow, that must have been a dream job. Plus six water. The bandits kept some of their guns in the staff room. Good thing about it. Uh, none of the raiders were near it, but we were. One gun. A flashlight on the ground is easy as a way to get your neck broken. We learned this the hard way. Amazing that no one heard all the noise. And we were in a rush because the raiders could come back any minute. We grabbed a few things at random. One of them turned out to be bug spray. Timmy prefers apple juice. 
Uh, some water left for Dolores. Ted is hungry and really tired. Oh, fuck yeah. So let's let's splurge. We're just gonna splurge everybody. There we go. Uh, Seems so awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe not. We don't know until we go out. Uh, we're gonna send Dolores out there for an expedition. Uh, our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to be uh, used an accountant, but now survives as a trader and a gambler. He'd offer us a card game and a bet of two water bottles. Shall we play? Well, we don't have cards, uh, so we're not gonna play with him. God, we, we only need a fucking map and a gas mask, and we would be golden! Alright. Uh, gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not gonna get some like that. We'd sooner rob somebody. We'd send that man away. Good riddance. Uh, no news is good news. Uh, Dolores is quite calm. Ted's not complaining much. Uh, Timmy's great. So we don't need to ration anything. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able, responsible person for the, uh, for the quest to gather more supplies. Okay, go out there, woman. You need to get us a map really bad and a first aid kit would be nice. 45 days. Dude, we are doing so good. Timmy seems okay. Dolores is on her way to the surface and Ted has rested. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of the smell is. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we should... <sighs> let's Let's look. This is gonna be bad. I already know this is gonna fucking be bad. Oh, good, she's back. She bought more food? Oh, and a map! <gasps> she got us a map! Good job, girl. Good job. Ha, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. We're glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. It might sound paranormal, but we think someone followed us. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. Majority of the local gas station was destroyed. Gasoline reserves blew up too and probably did more damage than the atomic bomb. The only thing left intact was the cashier's booth, along with some uh, cars and the gas price board. Wars or not, prices are still growing every day. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company and its side. Yum, the canned soup company. A few water bottles were scattered around the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them, though it's funny how the pipe shadow got burned onto the wall, plus one water. One of the cars had a map inside of it. After uh, uh, perusing the chart, we noticed the label which read, Time Machine Hidden Here, a big red X marks the spot. No news is good news. Uh, Dolores hasn't eaten for a while and is really tired, so Dolores needs to eat. And nothing going on with Ted. Okay, so Dolores, good job. You can go ahead and get some of the soup. Ted might be able to survive an expedition. Uh, we're, we're not going to risk it. We're just going to stay inside one day. First aid kit we have is useless. Uh, yes, we're going to use uh, the bug spray to try to make a new fucking first aid kit. Like I said, worst case scenario, we run out of bug spray. Yes, it fucking worked. Good job. Great, great, great. We're actually doing pretty good. What do you know? Combining American innovation, blah, blah, blah. We got a first aid kit. Timmy is hungry. Dolores won't last long without water, and there isn't much going on with Ted. Okay, so Timmy's hungry, and she needs water. And there we go. I'm almost certain there are bandits around. Running into them would be a mistake. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to do that. Timmy has been talking about going out on the surface to explore, run, dance, play with whatever burnt remains can be found. We would gladly jump at the chance to get him some fresh air, although we're worried the exposure to radioactivity out there will, will effectively ruin his fun by turning him into a terrifying mutant. Should we send Timmy out? I mean, technically, there'd be more food for us. So, yeah, Timmy. Get out of here, buddy. Go stretch your legs. Mm, man. Enough arguing, there's more point things to worry about. Dolores hasn't eaten, and wants water, and Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Well, we can give you food, no problem. As we're looking through our map, we came across a few markets that were not, a, were not original. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. What we find there, we don't know. Maybe it's worth sending someone to check it out. You go. <laughs> Get out of here, fucking water drinker. Day 61. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they'll let her go. Fuck, she's gone. Map directions weren't too hard to follow. We found our way to one of the other neighbor's backyards, dug underneath one of the trees, and discovered two food cans. That's what we call success. Treasure hunt. Ted should drink something soon. Alright, Ted, here you go. 
Uh, we thought phone calls were a thing of the past if the atomic obliterated everything in a little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems to be ringing right now. Should we send somebody to answer it? No. No. It's ridiculous. Day 82. Somebody come and trade us for a fucking gas mask. If it was too risky to help the army without using a gas mask, it seems the rescue would be a bit overdue. Ted needs water to survive. Alright, Ted, here you go. We've been hearing strange noises lately. It's coming from outside, or is it something that came into a shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. Uh, I might be going crazy. We should probably be busy with something to keep our occupied before this gets worse. Fuck. I don't have anything to occupy my time with. No cards, no board games. Oh god, I'm insane. Haha, <laughs> we can live with them noises, right? We can even be friends. Haha, <laughs> boredom can really get to you in the shelter and you lead to dark places. Trust us, Ted is going crazy. Fuck! This isn't good. I'm sorry we down here is no walk in the park and we'll get easier. We're hopeful this blow over soon and life will get back to what it used to be. Or else. Day 90. Yeah, he's a little crazy. No big deal. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Hmm. It's not good. It's been a while since we showered. The smell of in a tiny shelter as far as as far from roses as it can get. We thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way, but maybe we can make do with something else. We're gonna wash ourselves with bullets. Day 92. When we make it today, will be our tomorrow. Let's make it right. Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. He often has lengthy conversations with his sock puppet. Fuck. We didn't pack any razors when we came down the shelter, and now some of us can be confused with a Sasquatch. Good sharp axe might be a perfect replacement for a razor. Oh god, I'm gonna shave with a fucking axe. This can't be good, and I'm insane. Oh, I did it. With some skill, trimming a beard with an axe turned out to be both possible and quite relaxing. We should do it more often. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Here you go, Ted. This is ridiculous. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but... Oh, okay. Trimming hedges. It's so ridiculous. We trimmed our beard with a fucking axe. Day 94! <clears throat> we can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard the best way is to get to Europe. Every day Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Since earlier this morning, he'd been completely committed to reading a newspaper, or rather something that he seemed to think was a newspaper, our toilet tissue. He seemed very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. He had to answer a call of nature, but then accidentally reached for our map. Suffice to say, it's unusable now. Oh god, absolutely unusable. However, Ted didn't seem to be very bothered by it, and when we tried to make him realize what he had done to take back the toilet paper, he just muttered that he might lend it to us when he's finished. Ted is really thirsty. Oh god. Oh god, the map. That's poo stains. That's that's all poo. Come on, man. Ted, hold it together, man. Hold it together. Day 106. Uh, Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Fuck. What, what do we got? Oh, we don't have spray for medical supplies. The end. Fuck beans. Ted could not resist the madness uh, that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went on an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We have Ted, Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us. We'll have lots of fun together. Too bad we didn't have that spray. Homemade drugs seem like an excellent idea. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task, we can tell you that much. Fuck. We lasted 106 days. Oh my god. 106 days. Alright. So there we go. Uh, that is um, uh, 60 seconds. More like I've been recording for an hour. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but it's definitely not going to be an hour recording. And yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, let me know if you like this. If you like these things, uh, if you like this, we can keep it up. If you're good with it, just say you're good with it. Whatever, we move on. But I thought it was a great game. Uh, it's very entertaining and fun to play. This is the longest I've ever fucking gone, ever, like ever. And I know if you hit like 111 days or something like that, like you get an achievement. But I was supposed to get an achievement for shaving with the axe, but. 
that didn't happen, so I'm assuming that my Steam is offline or something. So, uh, there we go. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.